video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm going to show you the divide objects below command. In particular, how to create an abstract design just by using a very basic shape and the curvature tool. Now, select rectangle. I'm going to set the color there. And now go to the curvature tool, which is there. And then just apply points around. And I'm just going to apply them randomly around, not going to overlap as well, just quickly. So it's very abstract design. Now, of course, you could do any number of different things, maybe using a sharp design or sharp. I like the curves. So this and right at that point, that's it. Now, what you can do then is object and path and divide objects below. Right, now what you've got basically is just separate individual paths. Now, of course, you can color those now, so I'm just going to select different colors and so on and so on. So basically very quickly you can create all kinds of very... Now if you've got a plugin like um, one of the ones I use is my Graphic Extras plugin which is a random color one you can actually do it or you could create a script quite very quickly to actually recolor all these individual paths. That's another option. So, so obviously you could just or you do it manually like I'm just doing, just quickly going through there. And once, I'll oh, finish, do a few more. Now, once you've actually got this design, you can, of course, use something like the color guide and just quickly go over there and maybe change that. And then you just run through different colors, a whole range of different designs very quickly like that. Of course, at this point, you could actually go and uh, apply it again, the actual divide objects below and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go to the curvature tool again and just slip, click there and click there. Actually makes it easier when you actually see the colour is slightly different from the other colour at the background. So just go around and again there and then there and then go there and again object and path and divide objects below. Now, of course, you could use maybe circles, many other different designs, don't have to have a rectangle. And then you've got the same thing you can do here. You can actually split and change the color. Okay, random colors. And you can break it apart as many times as you want. I expect there are some limits, as always with most things in Illustrator. At some point, the application will refuse to divide. But I haven't noticed that, uh, so you can see the individual Parts. And again, what you can do, once you've done that, you can actually go to the color guide and then apply different colors. So straight away, creating a very abstract sort of painting design, which is a vector, so it can be any size. And of course, you could export this design as a background maybe into Photoshop and use it obviously as a path in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.